Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the best MEDC. And today I want to talk to you about the best minimalist wallets for EDC. Well, I don't know why you'd have a wallet that's not for EDC, but the best minimalist wallets. I've put a lot of time and effort into this video. It's been a long time coming. I've tried a bunch of different wallets over the last two years. And these are my absolute favorite wallets. And now this is a personal thing. I know this is not going to work for everybody. There are many of you out there who still have a Costanza wallet. I can't do that. I've been getting more and more and more minimal and uh, at least with my wallet, not anything else, but that has gotten me down to just the core basic minimalist wallets. And uh, these are my absolute favorite. So with that said, let's do the damn thing. So we've got 10 wallets here on the table. I also have a few honorable mentions and recommendations for alternatives for some of these, but let's start with one of my most recent wallet purchases. And that is the Misc Good Company wallet. This is the V2. There are three versions and really all that version is, is the different colors. This wallet is an envelope style, very similar to some others that I've talked about on the channel before. And this one's recommended to me by my buddy, Peter. He carried this wallet for a long time, loves it. But the difference with this wallet from the other envelope style wallets that I've carried is it's literally just one pocket. So you throw everything down in here and that's it. And I, I kind of like that about it. It's got a little bit of style and character to it because you've got all these markings and engravings, such as this inscription on the back. It says, it will all fade along with you. It will turn to dust. So be generous and leverage it well. You've also got keep it on the front. And when you open your wallet, it says lose it. So it's got some character to it. I like it. It's a very interesting and different wallet. But this one, I haven't carried it a ton, but I, I do like it. Um, maybe not quite as much as the next wallet, but this is made with sunset leather and wax thread, and it will set you back about 58 bucks. I like it uh, quite a bit, honestly. And I don't know if I'm going to carry this one every day, but this would be a perfect option for carrying, you know, additional cards like membership cards or whatever in the truck, stuff I don't need in my pocket. I can throw it in this and throw it in the center console of my truck. And then, you know, I've got that stuff with me anywhere I'm driving. It's very, very simple. Just a single pocket with a flap. And there's something to be said about how simple it is. It's not trying to be anything extra. Very, very basic. And uh, it's, it's, it's up there as one of my favorites. That said, it does not oust probably my favorite wallet of all time. And that is the Das Affenemer Gun Deck Wallet. This was sent to me by Michael four years ago. I, I don't know, but I've carried the absolute crap out of this. You can see it's got a lot of patina. A lot of character to it. Uh, this was the original color down in here. So a much brighter, like orangey cognac leather. And now it's just this dark, beautiful patina color. I, I love this. This is the Buttero and I opted for red thread. I had a thing back in the day for brown leather wallets with red thread, uh, as you can see with my Popov wallet as well, brown and red. Uh, I don't necessarily care for that anymore, but this, it goes really well. It works for me. I like the gun deck a ton. If I were to buy another one today, I'd probably opt for a green thread because of course I would. Similar pricing to that Misc Good Company wallet. This is $55 and up because you can choose different leathers. The difference here is that it's easier to open. So the, the Misc Good Company is an envelope with it. It tucks in fully to the wallet. This one just slides out of one side and it's just easier to get into. And you have a little bit of organization inside. You've got two pockets instead of just one. So I tend to put my cash in the back and then quick access cards on the front and then just sandwich the stuff I don't need as much in the middle. So that's really all there is to this wallet. And it is easily, easily my most carried and favorite wallet of all time. The thing to note about this is that there are now newer versions. When I first got this one, this was it. It was the gun deck wallet and he had a few different wallets, but now in the gun deck, there's the top sider. So instead of it opening to the side like this, it's not a horizontal wallet. It's a vertical wallet and the flap is vertical. So the difference with that one is that you can actually put bills in it and fold them down with the flap. So it's kind of like a, a bill holder as well. And then there's a quick draw version, which has slots on the back. So you can get cards out of the back without having it open the wallet. So different variants of the gun deck now, but the gun deck, just the tried and true original is still my favorite. Right, this is a wallet I've not carried nearly as much, but I, I do like it. It's very basic. It's more traditional, I would say, in that it's, it's bifold style sort of. Um, I mean, I guess it is bifold. It, it folds in half. This is the Nutsack Clipster wallet. So yes, Nutsack, you can see it's got the acorn there. It's the company that makes the bags. They sent this to me a long time ago with no strings and I carried it some. You can see 
the card outline, but it's it's not gonna hold your bills like a normal bifold while it would. It's vertical, which I like. You have two card slots on this side, a card slot back behind this flap over here, and then you have a spring clip for holding bills. So if you carry cash, this is definitely the minimalist wallet for you. I don't know of a, a minimalist wallet that does cash better than this. Just fold it in half, slide it over that clip, and you're done. Very, very slim. For a bifold wallet, this is about as slim as you could get. I don't typically carry a lot of cash, which is probably why I never carried this wallet a whole lot. But it's a little more classy than I think the other style minimalist wallets. It's very businessy. This one's not necessarily for me, but for people who do carry cash and want something slim and minimal, this is probably my recommendation to you. It will set you back $69, so it's not super expensive, not cheap. It's just a, a really nice, classy wallet. It's gonna last a long time. It smells great, it looks great, and if you do carry cash, it's probably for you. But since I don't, it's just on my list, but it's not my personal favorite. Another alternative that didn't quite make the cut is the Popov Leather 5-card wallet. This was one of my favorite wallets for a long time. I carried the crap out of this one too, as you can see. Very similar idea. You've got a vertical bifold. You've got four card slots on the inside instead of a flap and then one quick access card on the outside. Really neat design from a really good maker, and I highly recommend everything from Popov. They make really, really great stuff, but this wallet just wasn't for me. I would much rather carry some of these others. But if you're more into a bifold style, more traditional style wallet, this would be it, If you, especially if you don't need to carry cash. If you do, I would recommend this one over it. All right, changing speed one more time before we get to just card holders. And that is the Card Caddy from Hitch and Timber. Uh, I carried this thing for like six months straight. And of course, this isn't just a straight up wallet. This is more of an organizer, but I carry this as my wallet for a long time. So you have a slot for cards in the back, another slot here, which could be for cards or cash. And then on the front, you've got these two pockets, which are designed specifically for a Victorinox Swiss Army Cadet and a Fisher Space Pin Bullet. So, and, and honestly, this could be the vast majority of your EDC. If you want a very lightweight summer carry, this is a really great option. You've got a knife, a writing utensil, and your cards and cash. Uh, the only thing you might need on top of this is your keys and maybe a flashlight if that's your jam. Love the Hitch and Timber Card Caddy. There's also now a Card Caddy XL, which instead of a Cadet holds a Benchmade proper or something about that size. And instead of a Fisher Spaceman Bullet, it would hold something more like the big Ida Design TI Click EDC. So you've got different variants in this. And of course, if you're looking at Hitch and Timber, there are tons of different options for organizers and all the different gear. The Card Caddy was just my favorite of Hitch and Timber. Everything he makes, the Card Caddy is still my absolute favorite thing from Hitch and Timber. But this one in particular will set you back about 64 bucks. So this is something you may not have seen. This is called the Wayfinder Flux Card Holder, and it's about as minimal as it gets. It's very, very slim, and it's a TPU-coated polyester. Uh, it's water resistant or hydrophobic, so if you get water on here, it just kind of rolls off. Really probably a great summer carry, especially if you're going to be around water a lot. Uh, I've carried this some. The reason that I don't love it is just the extra material that you have from the way that they have to, I guess, melt these ends together or glue them together. You just get margins that I don't have to deal with with other wallet styles. But you can carry cards and cash in here, and it's just going to be very, very slim and lightweight in the pocket. I think this or maybe one other will be the absolute lightest wallet out of all of them. This will set you back about 36 bucks, and uh, it's really different, especially if you're not looking for something leather. I tend to go towards leather. I tend to go for leather because it's it patinas and you can kind of put your own mark on it. This is not gonna do that, and if you don't like patina, this is probably a really good option for you. It's cost-effective and it's, it's a really neat option. Very, very lightweight. Next up, we have two wallets you're very, very familiar with, and these are Travex wallets. We have the Armored Summit wallet and the Contour. Of all the Travex wallets, so these are my two favorite. If I had to choose one, it would be the Armored Summit, just because it's super, super minimal. Just sandwich your cars between two pieces of metal and hold it together with some nylon. Like, it doesn't get more basic than that. It's just very minimal. It's robust. It's going to last forever. If the nylon band breaks, you can replace it for a couple of bucks. Like, it's just stupid simple. I love this wallet. If you don't want to use the armor plate, just take it out and you can use this by itself. You've got a little cash holder on the back here. It's just stupid simple. I love the Travex Armored Summit wallet. Probably one of my all-time favorite wallets. It just stays in the collection. So the Armored Summit will set you back about $35. To shift gears a little bit, you have the Contour, which is a much more robust and feature-heavy wallet. You have, again, steel wallet with a leather retention on the front. So this is your retention band for your cards, and then you can put your cash inside here. You can adjust the size of it. There's, I think, a T6 or T7 screws all the way around, and you can adjust and slide these leather straps out or in if you need more or less 
room for cards. Also have a cap lifter built in right here. Um, this is just a much more robust wallet. It's not as slim, doesn't fit in my pocket quite as well. I tend to err towards the Armored Summit, but the Contour is just a really great wallet. They also now have it in titanium, which means it's even more lightweight than this one. Uh, this one will set you back $140. The titanium version is, I think, $200. So they get pretty pricey. If you don't want either one of these, you can use my coupon code on Travex's website. That's carry on, and you'll get 10% off and help support the show. So it's a really good win-win for everybody. But yeah, the Armored Summit and the Contour from Travex. So the next wallet is the wallet that you saw in my EDC update video. This is the Turkey Foot Leather Works Bobcat wallet. And it's probably become my favorite wallet just because of how small and slim and minimal it is. It's a very small footprint in my pocket and it's a very simple construction. But what I really like about what Ty is doing with this wallet here is that there's a heavier weight leather in the center and then a much thinner, lighter weight leather on the outside. And that just makes it ride slimmer in the pocket. And uh, I like that I can put most of my cards in this big pocket in the center and then my main card that I use the most on the outside. It's very small, slim in the pocket and I really, really like it. But Ty is doing some really great work. You should check out his Instagram or talk to him over in the Discord if you are interested in one of these wallets. The price on this is honestly pretty nuts. $43 shipped in the US. And outside the US, I think he said 50 to 60, depending on where you live and what the shipping is gonna cost. But really, really great work here. He does some really cool stuff. He's got some other stuff as well, different designs, but this is my favorite. And if you like this one, you can also customize with different leather and thread colors to make it your own. But this of course was was my, my pick, Cognac and OD Green. I uh, just really love this wallet a lot and what he's doing. Small maker, love to support the smaller guys. And this thing has been in my pocket since he sent it to me. I think it's been like two months now, every day. This has been the wallet for me. Next up is another all-time favorite of mine. This comes from a guy who said that before this channel was even a thing, uh, my other channel was doing Mini Mod Mondays, and Glenn over at Cave Leather Company said that he started his leather working business, or started working with leather, rather, because I was doing those projects over on the channel. And looking back, those projects were not that great. I was not doing really good stuff. So the fact that someone took those <laughs> sort of crappy videos and, and use that as inspiration to start a leather business is, is amazing. And that's, it's humbling, it's just a really cool story. But this is the Anderson wallet from Cave Leather Company. He sent some of these to me a long time ago. I did a giveaway with them, but the one that I kept, I used the absolute crap out of it and I loved it. I fell in love with it because it's just a simple leather pocket with a pull tab. Like it's just super basic but I love how simple and basic it is. I don't mind having everything in one pocket. You can just pull this tab up, fish through what you need and shove it back down and throw this thing in your pocket. It's just, it's just a really great, simple design. With that said, there are different color options and different versions. He's got a different wallet as well, but I really prefer the Anderson wallet. This will set you back 70 to $80, which is a little steep, but the quality is there. It's worth it. I love this wallet. Um, he's using a little thicker leather, or heavier weight leather than he was in the past, which means it rides a little thicker in the pocket, but over time it's just going to get pushed down and mashed down and, and, and conform to your card so it won't be nearly as bad. But uh, I have not had time to put this thing in my pocket yet, so I'll probably switch to this after this video. This Veg Tan Leather will show some amazing patina. All you have to do is give it some pocket time. So that's what's gonna happen pretty soon. But the Anderson wallet from Cave Leather Company is phenomenal. I love this thing. The last wallet on my list is the Compass wallet from Arc Company. Mark over at Arc Company is doing just all sorts of really cool stuff. Like that knife roll that I had in my last video. He does all sorts of really cool organizers and whatnot, but this was one of the very first products he sent to me and it's the Compass Wallet, very, very lightweight and minimal. It's very slim. I think it's probably the slimmest and the lightest out of everything I've talked about here. So you've got the same construction as the Bobcat Wallet, which is just three pockets, two on the outside, one in the center. That's it, just very, very simple. It's a very common minimalist wallet design, but what's different here is that he's paired leather with Cordura. I love the combination. You actually can't get this version anymore. He no longer makes it with this leather. It's not the highest quality leather in the world, but that's okay. It's very, very slim, and this thing is gonna last for a long time. Uh, the stitching will probably be the first thing to fail. Price on this thing, uh, without the leather, there's now one with Cordura on the outside. The price on it, I think is $33. Very reasonable, very great construction, very, very minimal. 
Um, I love this, and Mark's doing some really good stuff. He's a good guy. So I've got a couple of honorable mentions. The pop-off for an alternative to that Nutsack wallet is, is one of those honorable mentions. Another honorable mention is this Ezra Arthur wallet, which I haven't actually carried. It came in a bespoke post box, and I, I really like the design. It's very simple. It's one single piece of leather, and it's got a pocket here, which is sewn on the bottom, and then you have this pass-through right here, which is for cash. So you have a pass-through pocket, which just holds your cash in place with friction. So really, really minimal design. And once you start carrying this thing, it is gonna flatten out and be really, really slim. So uh, really cool design there. I like this one a lot, but I don't know much about it. I'll link it down below, it's Ezra Arthur. So another thing to mention is if you like that Bobcat wallet or the Compass wallet or the Cave Leather Company Anderson wallet, those are all, you know, they're reasonably priced, but if you're on a budget and you're having to pinch pennies, another cheaper option is this Husk wallet. This is the one I picked up for my $250 budget video, which I'm actually gonna switch to this and the rest of that gear very soon and do a month with it because you guys liked that video over 4,000 times and I said I would carry that stuff for a month if you liked that video that much, so I've gotta get on that pretty soon. But this is kind of a mixture between the Bobcat wallet from Turkey Foot and the Anderson wallet from Cave Leather Company because you've got the two pockets on the outside and then you have this center pocket with a, a pull tab. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. And this one is like 20 bucks, I believe. So not that expensive, very, very slim, very thin leather here, but it's made in London. It's the Husk Minimalist Wallet. I'll link it down below, but also just a, an alternative if you want to try something different. I do encourage you to support these smaller makers over a company like Husk, but if you want something a little bit cheaper and you can't afford something, you know, from a smaller maker, Husk is a really good alternative. That's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful and you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. If you wanna support what I'm doing here, hit those links down below. Some of the links down below will be affiliate links. So if you purchase anything using those links, I will give a little bit of a kickback with the Trayvac stuff. You can also use the coupon code CARRYON for 10% off your purchase. You can also go to patreon.com forward slash bestmdc to support me there. You can also go to Carry Commission, which is my store. You can buy gear and merch directly from me. That is carrycommission.com or carry dot best. You can also follow us on the web. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at bestmadc. And there is now a Facebook group, which you can request to join and a Discord server. It's all linked down below. I highly recommend you follow in those places so you can stay up to date with what's going on with the channel when I'm not uploading videos and talk to me directly in some of those places. But with that said, and until next time, carry on.